Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do a Mosaic pixelated style transition inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. And as you're going to see, I'm basing this off of the game Super Mario World, where you had the ghost house and you would have this exact transition, as you see here. So exactly what happened there is, as Mario went in the door, the screen begins to pixelate over a few frames, and it's also fading to black at the same time. Once the fade to black is complete, the screen unpixelates itself and you find yourself in another scene. Now the easy way of getting something similar would be a blur dissolve as you can see here, but it's not exactly the same effect. The blur takes the screen out of focus and you can reduce the opacity to give it the dip to black effect, but it's not the same thing. So what we're actually going to be looking for is something more like this. So let's go ahead and recreate that same effect. So for this tutorial, I'm going to take the exact two images that we just saw there and recreate that effect. So in DaVinci Resolve 14, at least the free version, there isn't a mosaic style transition. So instead, what we have to do is go over here to Open Effects. Resolve Effects out of the box does have something called a mosaic blur. So we can drop that on a clip and it will give it a blur effect, and we're able to change the pixel density there. However, it's not animated, so we need to do it a bit more manually, but it should only take a couple minutes. So first I'm going to hit Control z to undo that mosaic blur, and how I want it to be is every two frames, the mosaic blur progresses a little bit more in its step, as it gets to be completely blurred out, and later on we'll add the dip to black, and then when it comes back in, we reverse the dip to black and unpixelate it until we have the second image. So here what I'm going to do is add about 8 frames on the left and 8 frames on the right and make cuts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You could go a little bit further. Like let's actually make it 10 just as a good round number. And then 10 frames on the side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and make a cut. And between these two new clips I'm going to do the dip to black but Everything to the left and the right is going to be a change in the mosaic blur for every two frames. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And you can do as many as you want. Uh, let's go with six. I think that's a good number. Uh, so that will be six or seven changes in the mosaic blur. So one, two over here. Just keep going until you get that six number. Okay, and they're the exact same size on both sides, so that's good. Uh, now we're going to want to add a mosaic blur to all of these clips. So select them all and drop mosaic blur into them. And that's going to give you a new tab in the inspector called Open Effects. So with Open Effects, we're going to want to set the exact pixel frequency on each of these clips. So we're going to want to be transitioning from the unblurred image to a very, very blurred image. So on the outer edges, we're going to want a high pixel frequency being a lot closer to the normal image. So I'll set this to something like 200. And then on the inner ones, we'll leave that at the 20 pixel frequency where it's very blurred out. So everything in between is going to progress towards that 20 state. So I could put 150 here, followed by 100, possibly 60, then 40, then 30, and then the last part is 20. So if we play this back right now, it blurs pretty fine. Uh, we might actually want to make uh, a seventh step over here and reduce the amount of frames for this fade black, but uh, we'll be able to tell a little better how it will look after we actually add the dip to black. So let's actually go ahead and do that now. In video transitions, you can find the dip to black dissolve here, or dip to color actually. And then in dip to color, you change the color to black, and that's actually how you get the black. So we have that there. And let's extend the duration to, yeah, one second sounds fine. And let's play it back and see how it looks now. Okay, so a bit long for that transition. Let's make it 0 0.6 seconds. And let's actually add in one final step on both sides here. So one, two frames, and then one, two. So on the inner part, maybe we'll go to open effects and make the pixel frequency here 10 and 10. This will just make it look a little bit more animated. So playing it back, 
Okay, and that's pretty good. So we need the left side to mirror the right side now, so to do that I'm going to change the pixel frequency on this one to 30, and then we had 40, 60, 100, 150, and 200. So we can play the effect back and it should basically be complete here. So that's pretty cool, and it even has the little bit of a choppy look, as you would see in Super Mario Brothers or older games like that. If you want it to be less choppy, then maybe you make it one frame at a time rather than two frames for each of the changes in the Mosaic Blur. So if you wanted to finish this up, you could give it a sound effect, as we saw in the Super Mario Brothers. But that's basically how you do the video portion of that kind of transition inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on doing a Mosaic pixelated transition in DaVinci Resolve 14. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.